So yes, you, you may recognise the, these parts. These are the, the drip neck, uh, which I printed and a sort of, uh, I haven't really, well, I haven't assembled them. Um, I've begun to, uh, Going to assemble some of those bits and pieces, but uh, uh, it's basically uh, as I've printed it. I've just cleaned up some of the some of the some of the things, but it's looking a really good. Uh, it's printed out rather nicely, actually. So uh, it's you can see I haven't even uh, pulled off the uh, the brims on any of this. So it's and I've got to clean up the edges of these. So it's, it's it, it is just been printed and it's been sitting in a bag. Um, that's the that's the neck adapter bits for the in-move um, but as I say I'm not going to put this on an, on my in-move I'm going to make this into a desktop base for an in-move head so uh, we'll see how uh, that all adapts um, so once I've built it I can sort of see where it's going um, I've got a couple of um, Easy B HDD servos that I'll use to drive the the neck assembly um, when I get around to to building all of this um, which will be over the next few weeks. Um, the plan for uh, now it's uh, um, autumn coming, Christmas, you know, at the end of the year. So um, it'll be nice to start uh, getting round to uh, putting these projects together. Um, so that's that's the, the the drip neck. I will just go off camera and I will show you the other bits I've got. Okay, well this is the um, the in move head that I printed. Um, my second head. <laughs> Second in move head. Uh, again, I haven't assembled it, but um, this was all printed on my uh, Prusa, my new uh, my new Prusa, which I've got working, as, uh, as I've mentioned in a couple of um, videos. I've had a couple of issues with it, but I've finally got it working, and it is great. The quality is is very good, uh, very good. Um, so I can now sort of compare uh, with the. Uh, the, the previous head that was printed with the one hour and um this is um i would say the Prusa is in in final finish uh superior uh but it was only after printing several things that you know to make up my mind how if it how much better it was because it is more expensive as, as i was saying um but the, the the feel of the uh the pieces is very good um so it's still um uh, that that bit was the old neck me mechanism printed on the the one hoa before um, I converted the uh, the neck on my moved from the original um, uh, Prusa version of the neck to the um, the Bob Houston neck that was the old base so that that's uh, so I might end up using that again in 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 somewhere I don't know uh, but as I say this I've got to assemble all this head uh, and then add it into um, the uh, the drip neck uh, and try and create a base and um, uh, and get that going I've got the uh, this this is the this hasn't got the, the the face but it's got the chin and the uh, and the and the mouth as you can see there and all, all of those little bits but the face is not here the face mask uh, which is this one and I had this one uh, this piece I think I've uh, attempted five times to get this to print um, this was a fail um, you can see it fell off the um, I think can't remember if this was done on the um between the the one hour and the the prusa they they both kept failing um this might have been done on the prusa and then just fell off the bed i think this fell off the bed actually yeah because this was like a, a centimeter away from completion and went flying uh which was which was infuriating because it's a long print that one um i've also got other versions well, I don't have other versions, but I can't find them. Um, but uh, as I said, this kept this. I uh, kept trying to print this. Um, when the one hour packed up, uh, it was it packed. It finally packed up, printing, printing that. So I'm, I'm sort of. Uh, it's been an issue, but um, so I'm, I'm keeping it. I keep that bit as a as a memento. Um, right, that's that section. Here's the final bit. Now this is a Monobi print, I think. I've got a combination of several different uh, prints um, with the large with the large eyeballs, which which go in which will go in there. Um, I think that was the Monobi one with a Bob Houston mod. Uh, but since then, um, 
I've got, there's the, um, yeah, that was, <laughs> get, uh, remember which is which. This is the Monobee face with the large eyes, but I think there's also a Bob Houston mechanism mod. But since then, there's also the John D version, which has come out as well. So I've got a combination of all sorts of bits and pieces um, in this bag. Of different eye sections and eyeballs and uh, eye controls and various bits. Uh, so again, um, I've slightly lost track where I was with all of that um, around a little uh, little bits and pieces. So I think I think that's a monobi print. Um, again, when I get round to printing it all, I'm sure it'll all make sense. Uh, and um, right, so that's that. I'm going to show you something else in a minute. So I'll just go off camera. Now this is the flexi hand, which I printed again. This was printed on the uh, my one hair printer uh, back in uh, May June, I think, at the beginning of the year, um, beginning of the summer. Um, and this was the first time I tried. Um, this is PLA, but this is uh, black uh, flex. It's not a ninja flex, but it's, it's a ninja flex type, um, and it's rather it's rather good actually. It's it's. Um, so you can see the uh, fingers do 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 what they're meant to do. Like that. But issues I've had slightly with it. Well, I haven't taken it any further than this. But issues I think are a problem. In you can slide in the uh, the joint here. Let's get that on camera. So you can take that apart if you see what I mean. And that's that's the um, that's that's the flexible filament, the black. And that will just slot in. And the idea is there's a single string um, you know, fishing wire go through there, so it'll it'll tense the finger, and then it'll flick back. So I think that's the idea. Of how they how it's meant to work, but it's a bit loose on the on in here because you can't sort of slide this bit of filament in. You have to sort of push it in. Um, it doesn't. I'm not sure if it sits in there quite right. But um, so that I'm not 100% sure about that bit. Um, but the thumbs thumbs great. On the back, you've got a little cover. Now the the version on Thingiverse. Um, has the motors in the arm but I've seen a lot of people um, have put the motors in the hand or they've got a different version of this and they put motors in the hand and they've cut through this so that motors are sort of sticking out here and um, directly pulling on the hand so it's like a self-contained hand um, so I might I might have a look at that that's uh, that's another another option um, I had printed or have printed the uh, the wrist section and that goes to go on here which isn't a direct connection for this because they're not designed to go together but again people have modified them so they can go together uh, I'd started printing the um, the gearing um, and this was just printing as my one hero was playing up but these bits work um, they're a little bit rough but they do work um, so that that's as far as I ever got with that, that little project um, and I will uh, continue that at some point um, Especially the hand, because I think it's really nice. Or I might even reprint the 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 flexi stuff on on the on the um, Prusa to see if I get a better print that slots in here. I I don't know. I mean, what would be really good was to would be to print this as one piece um, with the PLA and the 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 ninja. The, well, it's not a ninja flex, but you know the flexi um, um, uh, um, plastic in complete as as a single print using the sort of the double um on the press you can have two different filaments you know their multicolor system but i don't know if it would allow the different um temperature requirements sort of between the two um but i'm sure you probably could um but then you'd obviously need to have a, a special sliced file um you know uh, with 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 the uh, flexible in it um which is a bit beyond my um uh, 3D skills to actually create the software, to create the, the 3D uh, program. But that would be good. Um, so in other words, it was printed as one one complete hand with flexible flexible knuckles, basically, um, which I'm sure someone will get around to doing. But I'm sure that's meant to push in there more. Um, so that's something I'm going to work on.
Right, now this is um, not an in-move print. Uh, it's uh, the Rubik's Cube um, computer uh, thing that's on Thingiverse. Uh, the automatic uh, machine to uh, solve the Rubik's Cube, uh, which I couldn't uh, um, resist printing. And also meant I could use up some old reels of um, PLA that I had <laughs> lying around as well. So there's various different combinations of PLA. I had this luminous PLA that a real that I got with the um, the one hour last year and I've never used and I couldn't really see why I'd ever use it on at all anyway so I thought I'd um, print it with that you know use that um, but it really is luminous actually this stuff because I noticed uh, because I left it in the dark the other day and it was great it was just sitting there glowing so that's actually going to be the camera holder um, so now I've really seen what luminous print is is like i think i've i've kept i haven't used it all i've kept some back of this um because i might print the immove eyes in in luminous uh um pla just to see what they're like um that's in luminous this is the um these are the various arms and bits and pieces of the of the project uh but they've they the, the quality this is all done on the prusa uh came out really well everything fitted first time um with the uh various threads um, and that that is the whole system um, as I say I haven't I haven't um, assembled anything um, all of these I think they're getting quite noisy at the moment they, they sit inside and everything it's not assembled I've sort of I've started sort of cleaning up bits and pieces um, and um, make sure I had all the right bits uh, that was done in that was done in some old end of real PLA drums because I had a load of uh, um, short little bits left on drums, so it's quite good to, to to use up all the old PLA actually. So I've got through loads of empty, you know, almost finished reels. Um, the grey uh, was a drum that came with the uh, with the Prusa, um, so I, I was using that as well. Um, quality wise, it's pretty good. As I say, it's um, off Thingiverse, sliced with um, slicer three R or slick three R as you call it, um, which I've got my head around now the new slicer because I used to use Cura but now I'm using the the, the slicer or stick 3R uh, with the with the um, Prusa um, and um, it gives you more control I never needed to Cura was fine in the past using it on um, my one hour um, but as you sort of learn a bit more about 3d printing you you can you can do more things um, <coughs> sorry um, which I have learned a lot actually using the 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 more advanced the the it's not not more advanced but the the slick 3 has got more settings that you can access um, in various different prints and uh, you can add G coding a lot easier and stuff so I've learned a, I must admit I have learned an awful lot more using the 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 new Prusa i3 because um, I've got more into the printing side of it, the actual mechanics and software side of it than I ever did uh, before. Um, so, um, so that's that's been quite a good learning curve. Uh, that is, um, I don't think I've printed anything else. I think that was uh, that's kept me quite busy. So I've got a lot to build. I've got a head to build. I've got a neck to build. I've got this Rubik's cube to build. I've got the hand to finish off. I've got another neck to build for Nigel the robot's repair. Um, to his neck um, and I think that is all I've got to show you okay